morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. Specialize in using nutritional supplements where other health care practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you heard about something on the radio or on television or on the internet and you want clarification, if you've got questions about the longevity products or the longevity business, skincare, formulations, nutritional supplements, we welcome your calls at 844-236-6010. Likewise, if you have a success story you'd like to share or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844 236 6010 is our number today and every day on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products, you can head over to my blog, pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. You can order products right off the website, also brightsideben.com, or you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. And of course, you can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866 735 2470. 866 735 2470. Love to have you. Love to have you on board. Love to have you on my team. We can help you build your business and we can help you spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you want to purchase any of my truth treatment products, head over to truthtreatments.com. Take an especially long look at our retinol 5% gel made with 5% retinol and a whole bunch of vitamin C. No preservatives, no fragrances, no surfactants, no emulsifiers, nothing your skin can't use, nothing your skin doesn't need. All my Truth Treatment products are 100% active and functional ingredients only. You shouldn't have to pay for stuff you're not using. You shouldn't have to pay for stuff your skin's not using or your skin doesn't want. You can head over to truthtreatments.com and find out all about our products. You can also check out my Facebook page, The Truth With Ben. And I post regularly on skin health issues at The Truth With Ben. Also, we're doing videos at criticalhealthnews.com. If you're interested in getting my newsletter and being notified when we do our new videos, just did one with, uh, on uh, Alzheimer's disease, and we'll be covering cholesterol and tinnitus and some coming videos. Head over to criticalhealthnews.com and sign up right off the website. Okay. If you're on a prescription drug, folks, semi-permanently, semi -permanently, or even permanently, if your doctor's told you you're going to be a patient for life, you're going to be taking this drug for the rest of your life, please understand your statin drug, your blood thinning drug, your antihypertensive drug, whatever drug you're taking for a chronic degenerative disease is in no way making, your, making you better, making your illness better, regardless of the statistics. Oh, we know that statin drugs lower heart disease risk by 35% or whatever. It doesn't matter. Well, you're not a statistic, folks. We're not statistics. We're individuals, and our individual biochemistry can't be modified by statistic-based prescription drugs. We're not statistics. Every human being, there's no such thing as a normal person. Every human being is unique. Drugs are about turning off symptoms. Symptoms are indicators of disease. They're at the warning lights. Using a drug to turn off, uh, to, to turn off our warning lights to control our symptoms is like taking a wire cutter in your car when the idiot light goes off. We, we're not going to see the idiot light, of course, but what's going to happen to the engine? If we, have, uh, if we don't have any oil in our engine, the warning light goes off. We don't have a warning light problem. We've got an engine problem. If we have high cholesterol, we don't have a cholesterol problem. If we have elevated cholesterol, we don't have a cholesterol problem. That's just a sign. That's just a warning. To treat cholesterol 
with a, a pharmacological agent is like taking wire cutters to your engine light, to your uh, idiot light, to your warning light. The problem when we have elevated cholesterol is in the blood sugar, and it's in the liver. The thyroid is probably involved too, the adrenal glands are involved too, but primarily elevated cholesterol is a sugar and digestion and liver issue. It's not a statin uh, a requirement or it's not a, a, a call for being dosed with a statin drug. Our symptoms are our friends, folks. Our symptoms are our best diagnostic friends. They're telling us something and they're not supposed to be shut down, they're supposed to be listened to. It's like our illegal drug crisis. Millions of people are in jail because they're addicted to heroin or cocaine or, or pain pills. In some states you can go to jail for 20 years for possessing oxycodone, unprescribed, un unprescribed oxycodone. And what have we gotten for criminalizing addicts and addiction? We got more addiction than ever before. Just like elevated cholesterol can be poisoned away and, and, and with prescription drugs, and what do we get for all the prescription drugs? More heart disease. What do we get for all the cholesterol screening and American Heart Association warnings and races and bake sales and raffles? More heart disease than ever before. We treat symptoms and not our illnesses. If, we have a, if somebody's addicted to pain pills, you don't put them in jail. You figure out why they're addicted to pain pills. If your uh, cholesterol is elevated, you don't poison your body. You figure out why your cholesterol is elevated. We're eating the menu. We're eating the menu, not the meal. We're treating the map as if it was the, the territory, and it's not improving our lives one iota. It's creating a sucking of our hard-earned cash to institutions, to governments, to the government, through taxes, through insurance companies who work for shareholders and could care less, ultimately, apparently, about us or the health of our loved ones. Yesterday, we talked to Julia Shopik about low-dose naltrexone for pain. And yes, she's a proponent of it, and I can see why. It's, it helps with pain, low-dose naltrexone. Helps with MS pain, specifically, inflammatory pain, autoimmune, autoimmune pain. And that's it's true. People get pain relief from, by using LDM. But as Julia herself admits, when you stop the drug, your symptoms come back. And even worse, if we continue living the way we're living, eating the way we're eating, depriving ourselves of our mighty 90 essential nutrients, continuing our toxic ways while we're using our low-dose naltrexone, we may be feeling better, but our condition will be deteriorating. We have glorified this drug model. We've glorified the drug industry. We've glorified it to the point where we will fight to keep our drugs reasonably priced so we can afford our poison. This is the nasty agenda behind Obamacare. Why did the insurance industry and the medical industry lobby so hard for this government boondoggle? In 2013, the healthcare industry spent nearly a quarter trillion dollars, not to make sure we're all healthy and eating correctly. They didn't spend $230 billion to provide quality food for kids or vitamin C for all adults. They spent the money to lobby politicians to make sure Obamacare was passed. Now, why was this so important to insurance companies? Why was it so important to device companies and hospital companies and managed care companies? Because they love us? They love human beings? They love the American public? I doubt it. Obamacare is crony capitalism at its, at its finest, and it is a, a, a classic, a prime example of this revolving door between government agencies and corporations that's supposed to regulate, and who loses? Us. But you know what? We don't have to lose. We can take control of our health. Now, I'm not, you know, Obamacare has its place, and ca for catastrophic issues, trauma, accidents, it has its place. That's what Obamacare or, or insurance is for, for traumatic care, for catastrophic issues. But for day-to-day -day care, this is our business, and we have control over this. 90% of our health challenges, or more, are lifestyle. This is so important, you guys. We're perishing for lack of knowledge. And, and it's not just perishing. We're not just dying. We're rotting. We're deteriorating. We're in such pain and agony and misery, and I see this every day. I talk to people every day, and it breaks my heart. It is so tragic. That's why I do this program. You guys, it is unnecessary. 80% or more of our health care costs are for lifestyle issues. Now we've got two new diabetes drugs. Almost every, almost every six months or four months, you've got new diabetes drugs. There's two new ones that just came out. What, we need, what are we getting for all our, all our diabetes drugs? Less diabetes? Less blood sugar issues? Diabetes, the second leading cause of death or the third leading cause of death in this country is an eating disorder. It's an eating disease. It's a lifestyle disease. And cancer much the same way. And heart disease much the same way.
We're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products or health or nutrition or prescription drugs, or if you have a health challenge you or a loved one is dealing with and you want some help, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, we love success stories. Or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, please head over to my blog, pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com or also brightsideben.com. You can also go to benfuchsarchives.com if you want to search any programs, if you missed a program or want to review something that we talked about. I know sometimes I give a lot of information. I'd rather give too much information than, than less information. You can always review anything you hear or anything you miss on, on BenFuchsArchives.com or BrightSideBen.com. Okay, FDA approves two new medications for diabetes, two new types of insulin. Insulin is really, really tricky stuff. If you're taking insulin, understand this, friends. You are shortening your life more than likely. Elevated insulin is associated with something called metabolic syndrome. It's associated with high blood pressure. It's associated with accelerated aging. All studies done on longevity, or, or lots of studies done on longevity, show that when you drop your insulin, you live longer. When you drop your insulin, you have lower blood pressure. When you drop your insulin, you feel better. How do you drop your insulin? Just simple, simple strategies like eating less food, eating less sugar and eating less food. Here's another one. Disruption of the blood-brain barrier might influence the progression of Alzheimer's disease. And this comes right on top of another study that says immune systems involvement in Alzheimer's disease. Do you hear this theme, people? Do you see this theme that runs underneath this current of chronic degenerative disease that we are, this chronic DDD, chronic degenerative disease crisis that we deal with in this country? Underneath it all, you will find activated immunity. You will find a defensive response. You will find blood sugar issues, dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar, and you will find digestive problems. And this is so cool because this is our power. This is our freedom. This is our key to the jail of the medical model that would make us patients for life. This is our power. This represents our control over our health. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink your chronic degenerative disease. It's simple. Number one, number one, and, and I'm, uh, I'm gonna give you the three ways or four ways that you can handle any CDD, any chronic degenerative disease. Not necessarily in, uh, I'm gonna give them to you in order, but you have to do them all at the same time. They're not something that you do in a sequence, you do them all together. You work on the digestive system always first. Eliminate problem foods. Even something, if you're really in, in a bad way, if something as simple as not eating, fasting, can go a long way towards reducing inflammation. After we eat good food, our immune system gets spiked postprandial, post-eating, that is, leukocytosis. White blood cells increase when we eat spinach, lettuce, tomatoes, let alone the processed crapola most of us are subsisting on. Eat more living foods. We're subsisting on dead food. How can this not cause health challenges and health crises? We're subsisting on processed foods. If you need sweets, go get some stevia. Put some stevia on your tongue. Go get something called glycine, G-L-Y-C-I-N-E. Put it on your tongue. You'll get a sweet taste if you need to have sweets. Glutamine is an awesome supplement for helping wean yourself off of sugars. Coconut oil, spices, cinnamon, all of these are wonderful ways to wean yourself off of sugar. Eating less food, eating less sugar. Those are the two, two of the major ways to reduce to reduce symptomology of chronic degenerative disease. No, no doctor required for this, no cost even. You'll save money. Imagine how much money you'll save when, when we reduce our intake of uh, our, our caloric intake and our intake of fast-burning sugars. You'll save money. You'll feel better. No toxicity. Go on WebMD's website and look up multiple sclerosis and fasting, and you'll see doctors are mystified. When you fast, your MS symptoms reduce, uh, uh, drop. If you're listening to this program, you know good and well why that happens. You'd stop eating. You reduce inflammation. Now, you obviously have to eat, so you eat carefully. You eat less. These are mental issues. You know, this is, not a, this is not a physical problem. This is a mental problem. We eat because we're addicted. And by the way, I'm addicted too. I'm not talking to anybody. I'm not preaching to anybody like I'm better. I'm addicted too. We are all addicted to food because it's, it's induced in us. We live in an empire of food throughout history. All the great empires were food empires. The Egyptian empire, the Sumerian empire, the Persian empire, European empire. British Empire, 